We're here in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Big Easy, to get some great food. I'm on a little foodie quest here today. Uh, here we are, Scott, Scott Mann, and welcome to New Orleans. It is great to finally get to New Orleans after so long. I've always wanted to come here because the food here is just absolutely fantastic. And why not start off the video here before we get our first food here at Jackson Square. This is originally called uh, Plaza Arms. Probably pronounced that incorrectly. So anyway, the square was established back in 1721. And 1856 was renamed Jackson Square. Here at the center of Jackson Square, we have a statue of Andrew Jackson, who is also a former U.S. president, too, because he was the hero back during the Battle of New Orleans, which was the, the deciding battle at the very end of the War of 1812. So when you're starting off your adventure here in New Orleans, Jackson Square is the perfect place to start. All right, so let's go get some food, and our first food spot is very close to here. In fact, let's go to where the music is. Alright, so we're at our first place to get some great food here in New Orleans. This is Cafe Du Monde. It's been around since 1868. And it's an experience to go here to get their beignets. And they also have coffee here too. But you come for the beignets and the experience. What's really cool too is that while you're waiting in line to get a table, you get some jazz music. Alright, so you can't hear me very well, but here, here are their beignets. It's very powdery and absolutely delicious. Nice and bright and nice and warm too. The powdered sugar makes it absolutely sweet and delicious. This is a great way to start your day in New Orleans. Those beignets are really, really good. There are a lot of beignet pla be places for beignets all throughout New Orleans, and there's other Cafe Du Monde's as well. But you have to go to the uh, to the main location at French Market, just just to the southeast of Jackson Square. Yeah, great way to start the day. So we're gonna go explore the French Quarter next. Oh, and also for Cafe Du Monde, you can also get your beignets and your coffee for takeaway too. Oh, one word of caution though, it's cash only, so make sure to bring cash to enjoy those beignets and the coffee. No trip to New Orleans is complete without visiting the French Quarter, which is the oldest part of the city and also the most visited part of the city. The buildings here contain the architectural styles of the countries which once occupied Louisiana, France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. And of course, the most famous street is Bourbon Street, where you have all the different bars and different restaurants, which are very busy during, during the night hours. So this is Bourbon Street. This is a legendary street here in New Orleans, especially here in the French Quarter. It's pretty busy in the morning. Later today, especially with being New Year's Eve, this is gonna be like a big party. <laughs> So yeah, really enjoyed my walk around the French Quarter, and now we've come over to the Riverwalk, and we're walking along the Mississippi River. Although, because of all the fog and low clouds, you can't really see the river too well, but it almost looks haunted. <laughs> Speaking of haunted, it's like, yeah, what's cool is that throughout New Orleans too, you can go on different ghost tours or even like voodoo tours. But yeah, I'm starting to work up an appetite, so we're gonna go get some lunch, and we're gonna go to a, for lunch, we're gonna go to a Creole place, a very popular one, and very highly acclaimed, and we're gonna get some great Creole food next. Oh yeah, so, worked up an appetite, as I was just saying, so, time to get some Creole food, because when you're here in Louisiana, especially here in New Orleans, you have to get Creole food. And we'll do just that by going to Coop's place. 
So for what I've heard online, they're supposed to have some great, great Creole food. Everything from like jambalaya to red beans and rice, all your favorite, all your favorite Creole classics. One word of caution though, you have to be 21 and over to go inside though. That's even if you're just going to get food. So, so it may not be a place you want to bring your kids or anything. All right, so a nice cozy interior in here. I'm glad I got here early because people are really starting to roll in here. Yep, got a lot of great stuff. Like the Cajun fried chicken, red beans and rice, rabbit and sausage jambalaya. And even some crawfish as well too. I said to get two peas Cajun fried chicken, comes with the jambalaya, and some coleslaw for the Scott Man Classic. Mm. Oh, coleslaw is pretty good. All right, so let's try some of this jambalaya here. A little hot. Mmm, mmm. Did you see the baby? Just taste the spices in your mouth. It's, this is fantastic. Okay, really good. All right, let's take a bite of the chicken. Got one of their drumsticks. Mmm. Love the spices on this. Chicken is nice and moist and... Just love, just love the Cajun seasonings on this chicken. This is phenomenal. Now I know why a lot of people like to go here, because food's amazing. That chicken was delicious. It was so juicy. It's probably the, some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. It's like, you just gotta add, add Cajun spices to it. I've had chicken, of course, at Zenner's in the Bavarian Inn in Frankenmuth, Michigan, but this is even better. Imagine if the chicken in Frankenmuth, they put Cajun spices on it. But, not, so of course, not only the spices were amazing, but of course, the it was nice and, nice and juicy. Perfect chicken and great service in there too. All right, so let's go explore more of New Orleans and we're gonna head over to the CBD or the Central Business District and head on down to the Garden District. Now there's more to New Orleans than just the French Quarter, so you have to check out some of the other areas around the city. So right now, this is the Warehouse District, and this feels a lot quieter than the French Quarter. From what I've heard, the National World War II Museum is supposed to be the best World War II museum in the United States. And you pretty much can spend an entire day in that museum. I'd love to check it out sometime, but don't really have the time today. And unfortunately, I would not be able to film in there because I, I already checked on it and yeah, they don't really allow video. Oh well. So let's head over to the Lower Garden District next, just that way down Magazine Street. Although, we have to go one more block to Magazine Street first. So we are here in the Lower Garden District along Magazine Street. This is a very hip place to be. And we found another place to get some great food. So while you're here in Louisiana, especially New Orleans, you have to get a po' boy. If you're not sure what a po', a po boy is, uh, just watch in the next minute or so and you'll find out. And we're over here at Fat Boy Pantry. 
They're supposed to have some really good po' boys, so let's go grab a table and chow down. All right, so what's cool about this place is that you go in and order at the counter, they're, they got some amazingly great sandwiches. But of course, when I'm in New Orleans, I have to go to Po' Boy, and they have a, a fried lobster Po' Boy, and this looks absolutely delicious. Lots of lobster, of course their Po' Boy roll, and the fried lobster, and of course comes with some fries with it too. And the fries are really good, I already had some off camera. Mm-mm. All right. What was that? He just like a hoagie. I never saw the message. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. Wow. The sauce is just absolutely creamy. I, 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 think, I, I think it's like a Remolite sauce or something like that. I said that incorrectly, but oh well. Tastes good. I can get away with it. <laughs> but yeah, this is phenomenal. Very messy, but totally worth it. Yep, I've been lo loving the food here in New Orleans so far. Mm -mm. But yeah, you can find po' boys all around New Orleans, but... But Fat Boy had a lot of great sandwiches, so since I saw Po' Boys on the menu and the reviews were absolutely fantastic, I had to check them out, and I'm so glad I did. Great food. So now I'm gonna explore the Lower Garden District for a little bit, do some other couple things around the city, and then we'll get some dinner later. So there'll be one more food place in this video. We'll save that to later in the video. This is a cool area. So as, as I was saying, this is the Lower Garden District. We're walking along Magazine Street. We've got all these different cool shops and restaurants in here. On a future trip to New Orleans, I might have to come back over here and check out, check out some more of the restaurants here. All right, so we're gonna head back into downtown. Over here, just to the north of the French Quarter, is the Louis Armstrong Park. It is a very beautiful park, and it was named after famous jazz musician Louis Armstrong, who, who is from New Orleans. Just take a look at all the amazing beauty you can see at the park. You can understand why this is truly a wonderful world. Guess who forgot to turn on their microphone? Me! <laughs> well, anyway, so we're in front of Trinas. This is a great Cajun slash Creole restaurant located here in the CBD. So let's go inside so that we, uh, you don't have to see me keep talking to abso absolutely nobody. All right, so here inside, and lots of people here, but a, ver a very popular spot here in the CBD. And re of course, the big reason is they got some amazing, amazingly great food. So to conclude my food tour here in New Orleans, I'm getting the crawfish pie. It's, it's, also, it's almost like a chicken pot pie, but it's with crawfish. So it's, it's, so it's basically crayfish, but it's called crawfish down here. If you call it anything other than crawfish here in Louisiana, people are going to give you dirty looks. So called crawfish. And this looks really, really good. All right. Whoa, this looks hot. And I don't, think, I don't even think I got a piece of crawfish in this one, but. Mm. But it's really creamy and delicious. All right, found it. All right, here's. 
a bite with some of the crawfish. But we gotta let this cool a little bit. We have crawfish pie as a classic staple tea, or classic staple to get down here in New Orleans, or anywhere in Louisiana. This is so good. The crawfish tastes absolutely delicious. Did not have to chew it down very hard. It just melts in your mouth. And the spices in this cream. Oh, just gotta love the spices. This is my last meal in 2022 because I'm filming this video on New Year's Eve. So I'm ending 2022 in style. That crawfish pie was delicious. I almost, I almost couldn't even finish it, but I've had a lot of food today, and that was fantastic. Bip, when you're here in the Big Easy, you'll always find great spots for some great food. All right, so before we finish this video, we're gonna go check out the, the music scene. This is Frenchman Street, and this is a lot calmer than Bourbon Street. It's a, it's a much calmer party, but still a lot of great music. It's a cool place to be. Lots of great, lots of great vibes here. Lots of great food, of course. But I've had such a great time here in New Orleans. Lots of, again, lots of great food, and of course, a lot of great music here on Frenchman Street, and even, even on Bourbon Street too. Although, again, as I was saying, it's a little calmer here. So I'm going to get ready to wrap, wrap up the video here. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join us for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching. And this is Scott with the Scott Manzano here from New Orleans, Louisiana.